Welcome to Shortview Trends, your morning market here for Thursday 25th of February. What matters today for traders? Well, I don't think you could have made it much more obvious yesterday. It could take more than three years to achieve the inflation goal. That's a direct quote from Jerome Powell up on Capitol Hill on his second day of testimony uh, in front of lawmakers. And on top of that, he said other things like the US economy's still got considerable slack. He's not worried about a one-time inflation push this year. It won't spur inflation necessarily. Or indeed, the Fed has the tools to deal with any inflation if it comes. A very clear message from Jerome Powell, another reiteration of the dovishness and, and really perhaps taking it a step further with that three-year inflation statement that he made that they're going to struggle to achieve that within three years. Very dovish. And of course, with that, we've seen a continuation of yesterday of this market of two halves. This idea that techs really struggled to make much headway amongst the big caps over the course of the last six months. And in fact, cyclicals and value stocks have taken up the running. Indeed, just look at uh, the chart in front of you now, the chart of Amazon stock, of course, the darling during the pandemic. Amazon delivering everything to everyone around the world. Yet its stock on this candlestick chart is still where it was pretty much back on its second of September highs, broadly sideways over the course of the last five, six months. And indeed, it's not just Amazon. Look at Apple, the leadership stock really for much of last year. But of course, it's also back to where it was really in early September. Yes, it dipped up in 25th of January, had a sort of false breakout, but really it's been range bound for five, six months. Netflix is a, an even better example, of course, one of the extended FANGs, an acronym, and Netflix really sideways since July last year, despite the fact that we're all watching it all the time. So key FANG leadership stocks are doing nothing. Although interestingly, if you look at that Amazon chart, it's almost back to its 200 day moving average. So that'd be an interesting test to that stock, whether or not it wholesale breaks lower than that. But of course, as I said, the leadership's been taken up by cyclicals and value. Just look, for example, at, at S&P 500 banks up 21.5% this year already, having gone up a lot in the last couple of months of last year. Or look at airlines up 15% in the last few trading sessions. Or look at the energy stocks. Or indeed look at copper. Copper's doubled since its March 23rd lows last year. Or indeed look at aluminium or look at Japan. And of course, as you can see from the candlestick chart of the Russell 2000 in front of you now, it's in a nice uptrend. It's been holding its 50 day moving average over recent months whenever it's had a sort of mini wobble it's held that level quite nicely and the trend is clearly up the momentum is up and in fact if you look at a short-term market timing scoring system one of our short-term technical scoring systems for the Russell you'll see interestingly that that model has just generated a buy signal so to see how we're playing this please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website also if you want to sign up for a seven day free trial of the daily rag please click on the link below this video or go to the website and click on the free trial. All you need to do is enter your name and email address, no credit card details required. Or equally, if you like what you hear and you want to subscribe and, and stay up to date with all that we're saying and writing each and every day and our one to two week recommendation on an equity index future, then please do subscribe on the website. It's $49 a month, cancelable at any time, nothing further to pay. So what are we watching today? Well, there's some macro data out of the States later on, the second estimate, fourth quarter GDP, some durable goods orders and pending new home sales this afternoon, London time. And a few Fed governors are hitting the stumps, including George and Bullard, and indeed, more importantly, Williams. Added to that, there's a few more companies reporting, although we're largely through the earnings season, certainly in the US. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Thursday, 25th of February. Uh, please do subscribe to these free videos on YouTube. Simply search under Short View Trading and click the subscribe button or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.